Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. And <laughs> for those of you who may have seen a partial video I, video I put out there to demonstrate the use of these um, bleeding tissue paper circles, um, you'll know that this is my second attempt at this same pen. Um, I used the other one um, because I the video wasn't complete. Um, I used the other one for a different challenge, uh, for the uh, uh, Scrappy Adam Circle Challenge in Rediscover Your Stash, the, the June Spending Freeze. So I'm going to do a completely different take on this one. Um, same pen. I'm not using the tissue paper cir circles. I'm not using a white background either. I'm going to use, I'm going to go way off the reservation. I'm going to use this pre-made mixed media background page from Vicki Booten that was part of the color study collection. And I've got circles uh, and I've, I've put foam on the back of them and I'm going to arrange them kind of like this. And wherever they end and don't meet is where I'm going to put my photo. And my photo is... <laughs> this one, which I, um, I again, kind of screwed up. I um, brought down a shape into my word processor. I snapped my photo into the shape. Um, I, I wasn't able to move it just the way the photo was taken. In order to get his full head, I had to lose this part right over here, but I can put embellishments there, so that doesn't bother me. But then when I went to cut it, I have wider spacing here than I do here um, for the circle. So again, opportunities for embellishment, right? So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to do the page like this so that the pinks and oranges and you know the colors kind of correspond with what's going on here it's not going to be exact but we'll see how that works out i'm going to kind of just rest this on top of some others while i put these on just so that i kind of keep things in order I'm going to do this. I'm just going to, let's just commit, right? Um, I need a place to put these things, so I don't have to reach over each time. And I love that. And if they meet, so much the better. Um, but I'm okay if they don't. I've got a kind of a ch little tray of possible embellishments. It's not a tray. It's a piece of ultra thick black foam that I've just kind of laid some things down. Um, and I've got a couple stamp sets and some sequins and then some stuff cut up, pre-cut up stuff that's from my crazy bowl. Um, that I'm and all of this that I may or may not use and I have a box of um, like tiny phrases uh, I really like the the Tim Holtz pads because they have some black background um, sayings so we'll hunt for that when I get to that part of the process and some of these circles are um, are just cardstock, solid cardstock. If there was a scrap of solid cardstock in my Vicki Booten bucket, it was because we used it in her class um, to mat photos and I had some left. So I knew the colors would coordinate. And some of the, um, the circles have more 
pattern and some have less. Let me kind of move these over. I especially love when I was able to, the scrap I had had a um, part with a lot of the mixed media look on it. So, got that there. Purple, my faves. And I've got to follow the line there. I don't necessarily need it to be a perfect circle, but Dude, this has some purple in it, so I'll put it up close to the purple. Looks like it's going into the blue, and I'll put that up close to it. And it just almost meets, which makes this a little bit difficult to try to figure out how to put it in. But I can do this, for example. And I, I kind of wanted it off at an angle. I don't want it smack dab at the top. And that wouldn't work anyway. So if I do this, then I can take some of, like, this and maybe, or, 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 one of these guys that I've cut out, and then something like that. I've got a thing right here that says this here and points. To it. So I think that's gonna be good photo placement. So I'll tell you what, let's just, Talking of committing, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple strips of tape behind it. And kind of place it. I've also got some flowers and lots of things that can kind of, oh, some flowers could go there. It wouldn't look like I have a, a different, um, type of circle. Let's see if that works. I don't want to lose that color, so let's see. That's not making me happy. So how I could do that and then stick one of these guys maybe behind like that. Okay, I like that. This is the same thing as this, only this is vellum. So maybe the vellum might look better and I could do it this way so I could get that. Let's put this green over here by the, that's too much orange. Let me do it this way. <laughs> it's gonna, I'm gonna spend half the video figuring out how to put that in there. And then I'll do the paper flowers on top. I'll let that come up. Get this. here, okay, and I could do something silly like putting the, um, putting this guy here. I need something to kind of draw your attention away from the fact that that's not the same. I can do this somewhere in here, but I really want 
the this here to go in here. And I might just let that be the title. I had thought about using this so excited because Reese was so excited. Oh, that does cover up the, the problem. Um, I could do that and do this. That does cover this up though, but I don't want to use the this here. I could do do this here like gosh you know i'm getting if i do this i still need something here i could use that heart and if i overlap it too much we cover up the dog and his sweet hands holding the dog so i could do this and maybe here's where Nope. This, how about a flare? I could get the green bottle cap. I put this on enough foam that it could kind of overlap. And on my inside my bottle cap, I could either do this little guy, which is a paw print, or I could do a contrasting flare like this one with the green. This kind of repeats this this color and the star pattern from down here, and it's got the green that's right close by and the yellow that's close by, so I'm really liking that. And then I could have this, and then I could make a visual triangle with a small, some small element or these words, eat, play, love, and you've seen me use those recently, but it was on a, um, layout about a kid, and this is going to go in the puppy dog layout uh, or uh, album, so it's not going to be a, a problem. <laughs> I could also work in this guy kind of like that. Let me If I got it there, did the so excited kind of down here, I could do the flare here and the heart here. This isn't gonna make it, I don't think. I'm gonna put that back over here. Okay. I need to commit to something. So I'm gonna to commit to the bottle cap and the flare. Uh, I'm gonna put the tape right in the bottle cap. I have several bottle caps in different colors. I may not use them all. Uh, I probably won't use them all. So I can kind of go here with that, and that's not encroaching on the photo at all. Okay, there. Now I'm going to take that heart with the idea that this is going to go kind of over here. This heart I'll bring over here. So I want the foam. All of that was just to see where the foam goes. <laughs> Okay, and there's so many cute um, embellishments. You know, this would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? I was, but I'm kind of committed to using this side. 
it kind of goes with the massive riot of color um, thing I have going on here. <laughs> I hate to miss out on the um, I need one more stack of a flare, I think. I'll do that. And then what I think I'm gonna do is maybe use um, the paw print by itself, maybe right over here. And then the So Excited kind of ties in here. And you don't notice that it's, um, that you've got that straight edge there at all. Okay, I'm good with that. And though this paw print would fit in um, one of the bottle caps, it doesn't have to go there. Okay, so now we take the So Excited. And the reason the So Excited, uh, and, and my, uh, my family is going to get it, the reason the So Excited is um, appropriate is that Reese, on this day, which was two years ago, um, when she was brand new to our household, to this very day, this very morning, <laughs> when she gets excited, she lets go, and there's cleanup involved. She is just so excited and loves us so much that she pees everywhere. And, you know, it's not like she's not taken out regularly and, and um, allowed to go. She could just come inside from just having been out and uh, she'll still find something to leave on the, a surprise to leave on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna go, well, I want it kinda, I want it straight out here. Okay, so now my this here isn't gonna make the cut this time, and I, I hate that because it would have been so appropriate just to point there. So I'll put it aside and I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna see if maybe I could work these flowers in right here. Cause right over here, that purple leaf kind of ties into this purple right here. And I'm gonna take all these bits of trash. I'm gonna uh, prop that leaf up and also the this flower so that there's some dimension there okay that's gonna fit just fine now I'll glue her down Okay, now I'm going to go through kind of um, decorating the circles, and I may add something like, I may do something like this every once in a while. I should probably cut them in half if I'm going to do that, but we'll, we'll see how this all feels. This is a vellum circle that I could lay on top of the yellow and the yellow would show through. I'm not sure I like 
this on yellow. Um, this on purple is a lot more pleasing to my eye. Let's see if this one is better on green. It is. The, the yellow needs something else. Let's choose one of these dots to kind of overlay there, and then I'll add some embellishments. I kind of like this one. Um, this one might be good too, but there's also this one. I think I like this one. And I'm going to maybe here is where the Eat, Play, Love will be. I'm going to spread the wood around. I have a camera and a feather. And I think I'm going to overlap it on the bullseye and the yellow. I've got these half circles, which I think are not going to make the cut. Um, I have another kind of a, a heart that was cut out of... Actually, over here, I think I'm going to use a bottle cap with... that there for the moment. This bottle cap has a, it's purple, but it has a, and I've got a kind of an orchid colored um, paw that could go in there. So it's kind of on the border between purple and pink. So I thought I might put it here so that I'm not directly right across from the green one. So let me do that. I may not use all the bottle caps, but I think all the flares I use will be in a bottle cap. I don't know what the what other color one I will use. And then I can find some some embellishments to go around there. Um, got this butterfly I definitely want to use. I'm, this is a little green uh, circle in a pattern paper that I did not use. The green grid. So I'm going to kind of put it in an unexpected place, kind of right there with that. And maybe I will include this little circle with that purple part showing through, or do I want to use it on the inside? Or the pink showing through. I kind of like the pink showing through, but how about instead we do this arrow, and maybe I can find, pop it up on, on some uh, foam, a thin bit of foam, a tiny bit of foam. on each of the solid places. That's a little too. Then I cut that out of the pencil uh, pattern paper there and there. 
Okay. And I've got this feather, which could maybe go, let's see, we've got flare there and there, so I could put a third one down here. Here's the orange one. And I've got this little origami dog that can go inside there. I like that. I got these um, bottle caps to make necklaces for the girls, charms for the girls. I had something, I think it was called Epiphany Punches. And let's see, those are both on the inside, towards the inside of the circle. I'll put this one on the outside. And then maybe I can use this feather going, one, one, let's, there's wood here, wood here. I probably ought not to put the wood there. I'm gonna maybe use the wood over here. So right he around here, I could use a little contrasting butterfly and maybe, anyway, those epiphany punches were, um, does that look good there? Or do I want one of those part? There's, it's too close to that one. Um, how about the orange showing through the heart kind of over here? So it kind of gives you, there's orange hearts there. And I'll add this little guy here. I just, I just love <laughs> things like this. I'm gonna head it out that way. And this would be great if I could prop it up on some foam, but it's gonna require tiny little pieces. And that's gonna show. Maybe over overthinking this. You think? Okay. I think I dropped off of um, a half sentence on something. Oh, but the epiphany punches. The epiphany punches allowed you to punch a shape. Um, there were different different shapes and sizes. And then you could uh, you could include an epoxy um, thing that went on top. And when you use the punch, it punched the shape out of the paper and it glued the epoxy to the paper, making you a, um, a shiny embellishment. And if you did round ones in this exact size here, you could... Um, you could make a necklace out of those. I, I bought a hole punch that would punch holes in the bottle caps so that I could do that. <laughs> and it was all the rage there for a while. I was the most popular grandma in the house. Yeah, the only one, but you know, never mind. And the girls all had to add different ones, and I have an amazingly large supply of um, leftover, and I actually gave away my epiphany pun punches. Okay, I've got this little heart right here, 
which I think propped up would be kind of cute there. And then I've got a smaller one that can go on it. And that may work its way into there. I may I have another arrow, this arrow. I actually aligned the arrow so that the pencil point would be the point of the arrow. So I think I might want to do it over on the other side, maybe pointing to that cluster. So we'll see if that's a... Okay, that's on there. This will go propped up on it. Is that going to show at all? Yeah, it's a different part of the pattern. Okay, there is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to prop that up with some foam back here where it hopefully won't show. There we go. And I have these two little hearts. This one I think I'll just use those here on the border between those two purples. And then I've got a really tiny wood heart that can go overlapping that. And hopefully that glue will dry soon. Let's see where I might want to put this guy. Maybe right here with these. It's a good contrasting color to the purple. This way or this way? I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Um, I have a few other things that I think we don't need. Um, I'm going to use kind of in a nod to the, um, the original. She's got bows and kind of some dimensional little looks like um, tiny flowers and buttons and this star and so forth so she's got lots of dimensional elements there so I'm gonna try to add in a few of those too I never did figure out whether I liked this or not I think I'm going to go ahead, since I have it cut out, I'm going to go ahead and use it, and I'm going to stick, make sure the pink part is part that shows. Okay, there. I still, you know, kind of need something there. Um... But I'm going to look at, I've got real life stuff here. I've got a, a pull apart phrase here, and it's yellow, so it'll contrast nicely 
with the purple over here since they're opposites on the color wheel. I'm gonna need, you know, some stuff down here, but I've got plenty. I can do that right there. And it kind of, there's a little bit of that yellowish green. There's some yellow here, and there's a little bit of yellow um, stitching on the wood heart there, the larger wood heart. Okay, and I've got these. These were sent to me by Scrappy Adam, and they're just the cutest little things. I'm going to put one they came in my last, my first and last order of flare. Um, my most recent order of flare, I should say. Uh, hopefully it's not my last. <laughs> okay, this guy uh, I like on top of the green, but I hadn't glued it down. So let me put it on a small piece of foam with the foam kind of right in the center, where hopefully you won't notice it. And we liked it on top of that green, did we? It's kind of a little close to this, is all I'm saying, but it everything's a little close to everything. So I, the, I like it well enough to put it right there. And I'm going to put one of these little rosettes kind of right near it, overlapping the black part, so you can see it. Okay, more small stuff and words. I want a third one of these rosettes around, and I think it needs to be over here and somewhere. There we go. Actually, I'm going to use all of them on here. I like, let's see, maybe maybe right up there, and I can add a couple sequins around. I just love these. I can kind of put that outside the area there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. This will be the sixth, and it obviously needs to go down here in this neglected area here. So hopefully it won't be neglected long. I'm just gonna also put it outside here. And I have these stamps out what I would do with those, apparently, is stamp on a um, stamp on on paper and and fussy cut. But I'm not thinking I'll do that. I wish I had a. Um, oh, you know what? Let's do that. There's a small flower that would might might look nice kind of right in there. Um, it's the smaller, the smallest one of this set. So let's do that. It's also not bad to fussy cut. And I've got these perfect color jewels, uh, pearls, bling, to put down in the, in the center. Whoops, I've removed this little guy. And it was glued on, so I'm gonna have to redo the glue. I think I, it was right there. So let me put that back. I haven't put this on yet. 
if I do, I want it on um, foam, so I'll put it over there. Let me stop messing up my magnificent work of art here. Um, let me push that over. I, I have to tell you that I'm really loving this. And unlike the original where everything, all the embellishments were kind of right smack dab in the... Um, in the middle of each circle. I'm kind of going, I'm going to do three of these. And maybe spread them around. Let me get this one on top of this really pretty mixed media part. Okay. Done. I'm going to put this aside. And now I'm going to get busy with my scissors and kind of look around to see. I might want one of these flowers right in here. Certainly want one here. And, you know, wouldn't hurt to kind of squeeze one around in there somewhere. Let's kind of, do, this is what I should have my, um, I should keep that pair. There's one pair of uh, shaped scissors that is perfect for cutting the ends of these flowers. It doesn't matter as much on the small flower like this. So maybe like that. It's not much of a contrast. Maybe like that. We'll see. I'm gonna cut them all out. And if I don't use them here, I'll use them somewhere. And I, uh, I don't think I have any flowers that are quite this small. And I think what I'm not liking about that flower is I didn't go down in where the petals, you know, kind of dip in. And I can go back and redo that. That makes it look a little more like a flower and less like a poorly cut circle. Maybe have it peeking up like that. And then I would only need half. Okay, I like that I cut it in half. Let me do a better job of cutting this one out. Get a little dipping down in there. Kind of down in here. And here. That's the cutting the little V's out. And haven't we all done our fair share of that? Okay. And let me put this on some foam. Set it up right here. Maybe peeking out of that one. And maybe this other half. Let's um, put one of those jewels on top there. Is that kind of trite looking? Curl those petals up. Okay, maybe here I will do this kind of peeking out there and this other half peeking out there. And I won't put anything in the centers of those. That actually provides a nicer transition between this and that.
Okay, so this is ripe and this is ripe for some words and phrases. Let's see if we can see. There's one on here. There's a you're my everything or um, lucky to have you. And could be talking about Reese or John in both cases. I'm gonna go with you're my everything and you'll know I'm talking about John. And I'm gonna prop it up on some very thin slices of foam here. Reese was especially fond of John, as are all, as were all animals. And she, um, when she comes down with the family for dinner at night, she just bounces down the steps and immediately turns right to go into the bedroom because that's where he was the last time she saw him. She looks around, kind of determines that, um, that he's not there and, um, and then comes on in, <laughs> in here. But she's a little character and he was the one who advised against getting a dog. You know, Ava had been diagnosed with leukemia and we knew, well, we knew something was coming up. We had no idea what it would entail. Um, it, and it, it, when um, the weekend after uh, James got her, the the dog, the puppy. Um, <laughs> they told the the uh, folks at the hospital when she went in for her next chemo treatment, and they said, "Oh no! One of the things that our um, people were going to advise you is that you know don't get any new pets, don't get any puppies because you're just your time is not going to be your own." Um, you'll have to be at every, you know, all of your attention will be spent, you know, trying to keep her well and get her to appointments and things like that. And it's going to be difficult to care for a dog. So, oh, I've got, you know, a couple, her older brother and sister are teenagers. They'll, and the grandparents are downstairs. You know, she'll be taken care of. <laughs> And, and of course it was, you know, a colossal um, responsibility to try to, to train a puppy. Okay, so that says lucky to have you. That says you're my everything. I put the arrow on. Let me look at my tablet here. There is a, these are snarky, um, snarky sayings. And they're, you smell like drama and a headache. Please get away from me. Um, let's see what, I wish more people were fluent in silence. Um, if you met my family, you would understand. I, I'm looking for something in black, so I'm gonna look at the black. So why limit happy to an hour? Or I am fabulous. How about I am fabulous? Um, and what I could do is 
maybe fussy cut a larger butterfly and put it here and have the the black saying kind of extending out there. So let's do that. I like the idea of that contrast. So it's not going to be a really large butterfly, but we'll get this one on there. And I like the black that the butterfly adds to all that color because as you know I learned well from Christina Sorge that a little black and white really brings out bright colors and, and I've found it works really nicely with pastels too I um I tried it the other day with, they were not exactly pastels, but they weren't these rich saturated colors like in this collection. And uh, I didn't think I'd like the black. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one up kind of there. And let's see if we can find one of these. I saw something, please cancel my subscription to your issues. Uh, I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. I like that. Let's see. Um, words cannot express how much I just don't care. Sorry for the mean, hurtful, accurate things I said to you. One of us is right, the other is you. Um, not my circus, not my monkeys. Oh, that would be good because John often used to say, not my dog, you know, when, when, when she did an accident. Um, oh, let's see. I know this is taking too long. Where's the one about here? I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's do that. And I'm gonna cut it into, I'd like to announce I have no idea and what I'm doing. So I'll cut it into three pieces. And then I'll put them on a single piece of foam. And I do this with little tiny letters all the time, but I haven't ever done it with a, a phrase. I need to have it. Okay, let's, let me size it. I'd like to announce, and I have no, yeah, that's going to work. Okay, so let me put this down kind of right there. And then I'm going to start with this that says, I'd like to announce. And this says, I have no idea. Let me use the tweezer to get it in just the right place. And I'll put it at kind of a wonky angle. And here, what I'm doing, I'll put it at a wonky angle going the other direction. There we go. Okay. Is there, I think that maybe, it looks like we might need something right up there, right? Maybe all except for the, um, I haven't used one of these. Well, I use these hearts, but I could use something that is different. How about right there? It's 
it's a, it doesn't so uh, okay now you know what there's well that's not a good part of the flower there's a flower do I have good flowers on the other side that might look interesting if I were to do something like that? Ooh, there. Nah, I'm trying too hard here. I think I'm going to end it. Um, I have this cute little pink, um, acorn and the acorn kind of has a, a meaning it's the only one that came like that in that little set of wood pieces we had a we built a pool in our backyard when we first moved to Georgia and the next door neighbor had a giant um, white oak tree and silly us, we didn't realize that white oaks are the most prolific producers of acorns in the history of oaks <laughs> or acorns. And let's see if there's anything else in here that looks like, oops, oh, I have some of these cute little things. Um, Energetic is it's cute. It could maybe go right across there or sweet. Adorable. Adorable. Where could adorable go? Maybe right there. And again, could be talking about John or or Reese. I like this sweet because it seems like we need something right there, don't we? These are epoxy covered and they're um, they're old and terrible, but they've all yellowed, but I think that's okay for those. And I should use them, so I need to need to do that. I've got this hugs and kisses. I, I'm going to finish. I'm going to call it done. That couldn't go there, could it? That might be interesting. Maybe up here. No, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> We're done. So thank you for watching. <laughs> off the board um, and I'll have a list of everybody who's playing along with off the board and, and the concept is as you can probably tell from the name um, everybody finds a pin on Pinterest and we take it off the board and put it onto a page oh you know what I have not used any sequins I'll do that off camera I'm just going to kind of sprinkle some around where it looks like we could use some of this really pretty uh, teal color that it's kind of repeats this color, which there wasn't enough of, at least not in my scraps. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next month for Off the Board. Bye.